reading our production history via the free encyclopedia of Doctor Who's classic serial The Curse of Peladon. The story was broadcast during the 1972 UK miners' strike, which led to many parts of the UK undergoing scheduled power cuts. This may account for the drop in viewers for the last two episodes. According to the DVD notes for the Peladon tales, this industrial action partly inspired the sequel, The Monster of Peladon. During production, it was noted that Alpha Centauri had a somewhat phallic appearance, so director Lenny Main insisted on the addition of a yellow cape to the costume in an attempt to rectify this. According to the extensive production paperwork published as part of the 2023 re-release of the story as part of Doctor Who The Collection box set, Hale's first two commissions were rejected by the production team. The first was titled The Shape of Terror and did not feature the Ice Warriors. When this was rejected, Hales was asked to incorporate the Ice Warriors into his next treatment, Doctor Who and the Brain Dead, which was also rejected. For delays in commissioning this story, it meant that production of the next adventure, The Sea Devils, was brought forward while Hales developed the accepted storyline. Working titles for this story included The Curse and Curse of the Peladons. The original 625-line master videotapes of the serial were wiped around 1975. In the late 1970s, 525-line NTSC copies were returned to the BBC from Canada. The tape of episode 3 was in a very poor condition, and a salvage transfer to a 625-line was made in 1982 for a repeat of the story. The NTSC tape was then reported to be junked. As a result, it was feared that it might not have been possible to make a new reverse standards conversion RSC of the episode. However, the NTSC tape of episode 3 had not been lost, but had instead been given to Ian Levine. Levine then lent the tape to the restoration team. After heat treatment, the restored NTSC tape was then used to create a new RC, RSC 625 line videotape digital copy. The Venusian lullaby sung to Agador is to the tune of the Christmas carol, God rest ye merry gentlemen. David Troughton is the son of second actor Dr. Patrick Troughton. He had previously appeared in Doctor Who is More in the War Games 1969, and he would appear in the revived series episode entitled Midnight 2008. Jeffrey Toon previously appeared as Temosus Temos in the film Doctor Who and the Daleks 1965. The story can be seen as a political allegory about the real-world issue of whether Britain should join the European Economic Community, with the alien delegates representing Europeans, King Peladon representing a younger generation of hope in agreement with joining the Federation, and Hepesh, who wants to preserve the status quo, representing the decision not to join. An allegory can also be drawn to the conflict of religion and science.